out this evening. Hey, much respect, homie. I respect you too, boy. Real talk. We're gonna grind this one out. No question, we're gonna grind this out, baby. Hi there, Senior Reviews Editor Peter Brown standing in for reviewer Miguel Concepcion to tell you about Madden NFL 16. Capitalizing on the many strengths of last year's installment, Madden NFL 16 isn't the kind of status quo sequel that made the likes of Madden NFL 07 or 12 forgettable. This year's Madden feels like a genuine acknowledgement that different fans not only gravitate to different modes, but different playstyles as well. It helped a great deal that last year's Madden finally made defense as equally compelling as offense, which means a lot to a series that used to be known for pass-heavy offense. This kind of accessibility in Madden NFL 16 can be found through its many training drills and more significantly in the ever-popular Ultimate Team Mode. In fact, the first decision you have to make in Ultimate Team is to choose your team style, whether it's speed rush offense, a pass rush defense, or six other play systems. For as much as EA Tiburon has made defense more appealing, they still found time to add new and practical options to the passing game. Now, quarterbacks can elect to throw a hotly contested high jump throw or a low throw for a higher percentage catch by the intended receiver. Players can take the high risk on a run after catch or leap for a highlight reel friendly aggressive catch. If oncoming traffic is an issue, the receiver can use a possession catch to give the ball added protection. Touchdown, Green Bay Packers. These new features positively add to an already robust arsenal of offensive options, and getting the hang of these new moves is as gratifying as it is when countering them on defense. If you have a large sample of Madden-loving friends, odds are that each of you will have different issues to vent about. That could be a higher than expected frequency of penalties, or poor pass coverage. It doesn't help that zone coverage is still way more effective than man coverage in Madden NFL 16, though that's where the sliders in the settings submenu come in, which has been greatly improved over last year's version. Practically every skill and referee decision imaginable is open to adjustment. Last year's Madden 15 was only the second installment in the series to grace the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, yet EA Tiburon had the talent and know-how to produce the most visually arresting football video game to date. The studio also managed to narrow the animation gap between the silky smooth on-field action and the less fluid scenes on the sidelines after a whistle. But Madden NFL 16 still lags from a presentation standpoint in some areas. Other EA Sports franchises like FIFA and NHL have mastered the nuances of broadcast quality visuals. In its defense, EA Tiburon's attempts at broadcast emulation look like a positive work in progress. We enjoyed watching the introduction of key players, where in-game visuals coexist with TV sports, CG effects, and live-action clips of the real player. Madden 16 proves that EA Tiburon isn't shy about experimentation, as this year's game sees the introduction of a new team-building, fantasy football-inspired mode called Draft Champions. Along with picking an active coach, you undergo 15 rounds of drafts. Each round limits you to a small selection of random players of a specific position. That means you'll get completely different teams every time you restart. It's a novelty-free mode that makes for a fine addition to the suite of modes in Madden NFL. Practice mode remains useful, offering a large combination of scenarios you can test out over and over again until you get it just right. It's about the closest you'll get to a real-life training camp, and is a vastly more useful way to train than, say, EA's disappointingly shallow training mode in the recent NHL games. Practice mode feels like a sibling to the skills trainer mode. The existence of all these accessibility options prove EA Tiburon's confidence in reaching new fans as well as former fans who haven't played Madden maybe since the 16-bit days. Skill Trainer's most notable feature is the return of the Gauntlet Drill series, aptly titled The Gauntlet Strikes Back, a nod to the fact that this is the second year of this now popular mode. Devoid of any throwaway modes or game types that mean to pull on nostalgia heartstrings, Madden NFL 16 is both sensible and forward-thinking. EA could have made a bigger deal about Super Bowl 50 or relied more heavily on the appeal of the Hall of Fame players in the game. Instead, EA Tiburon has focused more on fans' diverse playtastes, as well as making this one of the most newcomer-accessible Maddens in recent memory. The six on the board for the Packers. Those points may have made the lead insurmountable, but just over a quarter to play. Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes you get in a situation like this.